Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We are going to begin with left back Jody Alba as the Barcelona veteran wants to fulfill his contract amid exit rumors. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then, secondly, talking about Luis Rubiales, the president of the Spanish Football Federation, the RFEF who have recently tears into Javier Tebas amid the Negrera scandal. We are going to be discussing in much details on that story. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. FC Barcelona have secured a new deal for Sergio Roberto why they are in talks with Sergio Busquets over a renewal. However, Jody Alba, the other veteran star in the team, has doubts about his own future at the club. The defender's contract at Spotify Camp Nou expires in 2024, but there are suggestions he could be offloaded by Barcelona in the upcoming summer. This is because the club wants to reduce the cost of the squad by offloading players that have not been able to establish themselves as first team regulars. This is one of the reasons Ansu Fati has been linked with an exit, with Manchester United emerging as a potential destination. A recent report from Sport has offered an update on Alba's future, suggesting that the left back has no desire to leave the Camp Nou and wants to see out his contract in Barcelona. The defender is well aware of the speculation swelling over his future, but he wants to continue playing for Barcelona despite his receding role in the first team. The 34-year-old left-back has indeed fallen behind young star Alejandro Bade in the pecking order this term, racking up only 11 starts in the league, although Alba has impressed on Lucas with his leadership role in the dressing room. Barcelona are still unsure whether or not that is enough to keep him at the club beyond the summer. After all, Alba is among the highest owners in the squad and his potential exit could allow Barcelona to make some space on the books. It would enable them to pursue their top targets in the market this coming summer. However, it is too early to ascertain the future of Alba and we can expect more details in the coming months. Jody Alba, this is not the first time we've been talking about him linked with a move away from Barca. His contract expires in 2024. The left back continued to insist that he wants to stay and see out his contract. But honestly, we know the situation that we are currently going through. The financial situation tries to balance things up and Barca must sell players if indeed they want to sell, buy new players. Players must be sold and Abba can be an exception. I definitely think that Abba can still be sold. We understand that, yes, um, he is still important to Javi and his team, but he is not that important, honestly. And the fact that Abba has not been the first choice left back, Alonso as well has not been the first choice left back, but Alejandro Bade have taken over that mantle, which means that Barca just need to, according to my own opinion, Barca needs to move on with some of these veterans. Now we're talking about some players like Vitor Roque, Messi. I mean, the targets that are now strongly linked, we can't even sign them as it stands, except a lot need to be sorted out. And I think that if push comes to shove, why won't Barca sell players like Alba? To be honest, they will. They should, because it makes no sense if... It comes to a scenario where, you know, Barca need to sell urgently to, to buy players to strengthen the squad, but Abba is there, you don't want to sell it. What was the need? So I think that the future of Abba remains very, very uncertain as it stands. We quite remember last summer, Barca almost gave out Abba on loan to Inter Milan in the Serie A, but the player did not go. He refused and he was so annoyed with the club that things were being done behind his back because he had no clue that there were arrangements happening in the background for him to leave on low. You know, honestly, Barca needs to sort out his future as soon as possible. I very much doubt if Alba will be given another season to see out his contract because honestly, I think some of these veterans, even Busquets, needs to go. 
nobody i still don't understand how javi would be putting pressure to keep busquets one of the highest earners and Barca seem to, of course, trying to see if they can put in a new offer for them with a very low, low salary. But it remains to be seen if actually they, they understand the club's financial situation and accept that low salary because that's the only way. Because honestly, Barca needs to get rid of these players, honestly. Because if not, we won't be able to sign the players that we want to sign. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona have been rocked by investigations that allege their involvement in the Negrera payment scandal lately, which has led to a legal battle that may continue for a long time. In the midst of these proceedings, La Liga president Javier Tebas has been quite vocal about against Barcelona, sending out multiple warnings to the club and criticizing President Juan Laporta. Tebas was also reportedly involved in coercing UEFA to launch its own investigations into the matter. He was also urged Barcelona President Juan Laporta to break his silence over the issue in this month's assembly. Tebas's public statements, though, appear to have left the RFEF president Luis Rubiales frustrated. In a recent statement, the Spaniard has spoken out against Tebas, suggesting that he is not in place to lecture Barcelona about fair play, he said. What Negrera did was horrible, but Javier Tebas was the vice president of La Liga and he received money from many clubs. He is not out to give advice, Rubiales angrily said. The spot between Rubiales and Tebas is another indicator of state of Spanish football right now. As the investigations continue, many experts believe that the scandal could have far-reaching consequences for the Spanish football industry. It has raised questions about the transparency and accountability of the transfer process and there are concerns that a scandal could damage the reputation of Spanish football. In the meantime, Barcelona have been left reeling from the fallout of the scandal even though no evidence has been found to support the allegations against Barcelona. The coming weeks and months are therefore very very likely to be a crucial period for the club as they navigate the legal and reputational challenges posed by the scandal. Wow, quite interesting. The boss needs to shut his mouth up. I think so. And we can see Luis Rubiales, the president of the Spanish Football Federation, not, not getting any of this. He's, 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 he's frustrated and very angry about how the boss is running his mouth. And you can see how clear somebody unprofessionally going against another club, being the president of a league association, how disgraceful this man is. And I think it's something to be angry about. You can't be showing how you support this club in public and you are a leader of that organization. I'm, I'm so happy that Luis Rubiales is so frustrated and he slammed that, 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 in fact, I don't want to call names, but it is really terrible. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.